Pro Am man, Mr. Dave Mazda. Dave is the head of product and managing director at Direction Shares. Bottom line, you can go to our website at TFNN. You just hit that Direction banner. It brings you right over there. You get to understand the singles, the doubles, the triples. Bottom line, have a huge amount of great product. Dave Mazda, welcome back to TFNN. Hey, thanks for having me back. It's a pleasure. So, Dave, let's talk about, you know, we've had oil going in a big way, right? So what I'd love to talk about, two different ETFs you have out here. The, the ONG, okay, which is the daily, uh, um, you know, oil services. And then the MSRG, which is the, uh, um, you know, the ETF for, you know, this new technology. Maybe we can, can we talk about that one first, man? Because... This, you know, folks, this is a brand new technology um, and they got a great, uh, you know, uh, ETF here, um, which is the, the, the symbol is MSGR. Dave? Yeah, so, yeah. yeah oh, uh, so. Can, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Yes. Great. Yeah. So uh, MSGR is a ETF based solely on biotechnology companies that are involved with the development of mRNA technologies. Right. So there's tw 21 names in the portfolio. There's probably only a handful of names that uh, traders may be familiar with. So that would mean Moderna and BioNTech. Uh, but there's actually a handful of other companies that are in the process of trying to commercialize mRNA as a technology, but applying it to other areas. And I think what's fascinating is for decades mRNA was didn't receive any funding. Uh, very, you know, uh, people were kind of just uh, plowing away at it and not getting anywhere. And then one of the silver linings of the COVID-19 pandemic is that mRNA has been justified as uh, uh, as a technology, particularly as an effective and resilient uh, in vaccines. Um, so now, uh, just last week, Moderna uh, opened their their first ever human trial on an HIV. Um, uh, treatment based on mRNA. So the applications are really exciting and our fund is seeking to capitalize on uh, the amount of interest that has gone, gone into the space. And you know what's so cool about this, folks, okay, is that, and, and you know, Dave, you know, when we have something that's this new, you know, individuals, all of us, yeah, we could take a shot with this one and with that one and with this one. I like the idea that you have them all in one because we know in the biotech space, I mean, there's going to be blow ups, folks. So, well, you know, it's brand new. So it's really cool that you can get a basket. Right? I mean, you know, I, I'm a big believer in this technology. That's why when I saw this, that you have it, um, you know, when you actually read about it, it's it's going to change lives, man. I mean, it just, you know, there's, there has to be more research and all that, but it's going to change lives and it's basically saving lives. So pretty cool, man. And so the, the, the uh, symbol folks is MSGR. So now let's let's go to the ONG where that's been getting some <laughs> big business. There's no doubt. And, you know, you can see, you know, oil is going wild today. That being said, you know, my, my take is that oil is still going higher. So it's like, OK, well, you know, we know how this goes. You can be right. You can be wrong, whatever. Uh, but when you take a look at this ONG, these companies are making money once again. Yeah, no, it's 100 percent correct. Yeah. So ONG is a newer ETF in our lineup. Uh, and it's really focused the way I think about the difference of the names in that basket compared to uh, a, a gush yes. uh, and drip on that side or even um, uh, ERX. Right. It's. This, these are the picks and shovels of the oil industry. So right. these are the companies that are they're called oil services. And really, again, what that means is that they're the ones who are, you know, providing the, the equipment, the, the drilling equipment, the rigs, maybe the people to operate it. So they're not out searching for new wells or, you know, selling, you know, they don't have gas stations. They're providing the tools to make the oil industry happen. And to your point is, whether we are, you know, uh, $100 a barrel, $130 a barrel, when you when you move from, you know, maybe those those artificial lows of under, you know, uh, $25, $30 through 50, these are the companies that start to see their revenue propel because you need new rigs, you need to uh, reoperate something or buy more equipment. Um, so it's one of the, they have a very, very high beta or sensitivity to the price of oil. And I think that's one of the reasons why uh, traders have, have have found ONG uh, in, in a short period of time since we launched it. Yeah, there's no doubt. And, you know, it's, it, it, Dave, it's always, you know, it's so intriguing to me. And because we go through these cycles, what ends up happening, folks, you know, 
Oil is a boom and bust commodity cycle. It just happens on a continual basis. And it's amazing that these rigs could go for so much money, then go for nothing, and now we're back on going up again. I mean, it's huge, man. Well, listen, this is a pleasure, Dave. You have a great one, safe one. We look forward to speaking to you two weeks from today. Sounds good. We'll talk soon. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading down 35. NASDAQ's up 138. S&P's up 15 and a half. We'll come right back. Mm -hmm.